Greetings, one and all. Um, how are you doing? How are you doing? I wonder if you like parties. I like parties. I love getting together with people and uh, just enjoying a celebratory occasion. Um, and as we uh, continue through to Peter, uh, we we start to think about perhaps, or Peter points us towards people who perhaps um, like the kind of revelry of parties, maybe just that little bit too much. Let me explain as we read uh, 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 13. They, so the people who are behaving like animals that we thought of um, on, uh, on Friday, they will be paid back with harm for the harm they have done. Their idea of pleasure is to carouse in broad daylight. They are blots and blemishes, reveling in their pleasures while they feast with you. And this will be unpacked a little more over the course of the next couple of days. But there's that, it's very, quite a kind of graphic imagery, isn't there, of, of people who, who don't want to reason. They don't want to kind of try and understand what it means to live under the authority of God and, and his written word. But those who, who are just out for a party, just out for a good time, and uh, they revel in their pleasures while they feast with you. They're not interested. There are some people who are just not interested in engaging in proper conversation, in understanding what we, why we believe, what we believe, uh, and that sort of thing. There are some people who who are ignorant of all that God has done for us and have no desire to understand. Instead, they just want to get on with a hedonistic lifestyle and uh, enjoy the revelry and carousing in broad daylight. Never mind who sees, who's judging doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care um, because I just want to do my own thing in my own way. Is that the attitude of a Christian? Is that the attitude of a follower of Jesus? Well, I think the Bible quite clearly suggests it's not. Now, I don't think the Bible is saying that we shouldn't enjoy parties. Jesus enjoyed parties and celebrations, but we need to be careful. And during those times together, uh, we are to pay attention to other people, we're to show love towards other people, respect to them. Uh, and we're not in this life to simply uh, have a good time at the expense of everybody else, but we are community, we're to live in community, and we're to um, enjoy the opportunities to celebrate, absolutely, but to do so lovingly, to do so uh, humbly, again, that word, uh, and to do so in a way that listens to others and allows than the dignity of uh, talking to us about different things. Now, I hope for all of us that we can do that. Uh, we can still have a good time, but we can still spend uh, valuable time in a valuable way with other people. Let's pray. Uh, Lord, as we reflect on these verses, uh, they sound really quite negative sometimes, but I pray that you help us to draw out a positive uh, lesson, a positive indication from them, and that you will be glorified in them. Amen. Bless you. See you tomorrow.